I want to give you some tips for balance. Balance, um, two things we use, two tools we use. One is focus, a focus point called a drishti. So you want to find one point to look at. It's almost like you're daydreaming. You're, you're looking back into it, but you're focused on one point. The other one is engaging muscles on the pelvic floor, and it's called mula bandha. And another way we can find that is imagine I'm going to punch you in the stomach. Punch me back. So if I punch you in the stomach, you're going, you, and you know what's going to happen, you're going to tighten and engage belly from underneath. So you need to engage belly, find your focus point, mula bandha and your drishti. Then we're going to bring the weight onto the left foot, and you can lighten your right foot. Just I don't care if you leave one toe on the ground. It's okay. Just lighten the foot. But if you have enough space, you can lift the toe off of the ground and possibly even take the foot back and grab the ankle. It's okay to keep one toe down, it doesn't matter. So you want to have one toe on the ground, one foot in the hand, the left arm goes up. And you can start to tip forward, slowly if you like, staying with your focus point, engaging pelvic floor. Stay with the breath, laugh when you fall, doesn't really matter. And inhale, tip back up slowly. And again, you can still have one toe on the ground. And you exhale, release the foot. And I want you just to stay for a moment observing the standing leg, the left leg ankle for a moment. So as you'll notice warmth, energy, prana there, just because it was working. We can stay soft with that just for a few moments before we do the other side. Bring the weight onto the right foot. You can lighten left toe, and maybe you stay here the whole time. That's fine. If you have more space, you want to grab the ankle from behind, you can do that. Right arm can go up in the air. Keep the belly long, the heart lifted, face relaxed. And if you have a little more space, you can start to tip forward. You don't have to go far. Keep the heart open. Find an option. Take a few breaths here. And on the inhale, you tip back up, slow motion. Exhale, gracefully. And maybe you notice the right ankle a little warmer now. Just stand for a moment. Observe. Let's come together at the front of the mat. We're going to go back to sitting, but do that with a flowing sun greeting. Inhale the arms up sideways. Exhale, you're going to flow down again. It's okay to bend the knees to get the fingertips to the ground. Lengthen halfway up. Exhale, step back to your plank. Go to low plank. It's okay to put the knees down, but I want you to use the arms. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, come back onto the knees and sit on the heels for a moment. This is also a pose. If this is not possible, you can always sit on a block or even sit in cross-legged position if it's better. So let's just be here for a moment. Take a few breaths. Let's do one more pose just to open the shoulders a little bit. We're going to inhale the right arm up sideways. And if you have a little space, you can grab the elbow. Left arm can sweep down and under. And you can either grab your shirt or your hands together behind your back. Take a few breaths here. Spine stays long, face relaxed. Notice where you feel the most stretch. Is it the right tricep or the left shoulder? Either one. Doesn't matter, it's just an observation. And one more deep breath. And slowly release the arms and see if you can just float the arms back into the other position. Left arm goes up, right arm comes back down. And you see if you have enough space to either just touch the back or possibly even get the fan hands to touch behind the back. 
Take a few breaths here. Exhale, release the hands again and just rest on the thighs for a few moments. Noticing any energy you feel from the arms. Shift the weight to the side to straighten the legs. And you can shake the knees out a little bit if you like. Okay. We can lean back, roll back slightly onto your back. Straighten the legs. If this hurts the lower back, you can always raise the knees slightly with a, a bolster or a block. Arms can be beside you. We're going to just rest here for a few moments in relaxation. With the eyes closed, face relaxed from inside out. And just remain here for a few minutes. Allowing energy to flow. <laughs> 